Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What states have no social security tax? When it comes to taxation of social security benefits, the rules can be complex and vary significantly from state to state. At the federal level, about 40% of people who receive social security benefits must pay federal income taxes on these benefits, depending on their combined income from other sources such as wages, self-employment earnings, interest, and dividends. Federal taxation? Federal law dictates that social security benefits are taxable if the recipient's combined income exceeds certain thresholds. For single filers, this means paying tax on up to 50% of their benefits if their combined income is between $25,000 and $34,000 and up to 85% if it exceeds $34,000. For married couples filing jointly, the thresholds are between $32,000 and $44,000 for 50% taxation and above $44,000 for up to 85% taxation. State taxation. While federal taxation rules are uniform, state taxation of social security benefits varies widely. Some states fully exempt social security benefits from state income tax, while others tax these benefits to some extent. States with no social security tax. A significant number of states do not tax social security benefits at all. These include Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, and several others. In these states, recipients of social security benefits do not have to worry about paying state income taxes on their benefits. States with no income tax. Additionally, there are states that have no state income tax at all, which automatically means they do not tax social security benefits. These states are Alaska, Florida, Nevada, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. New Hampshire also does not tax wages, salaries, or retirement account withdrawals, but does tax dividends and interest until 2027. Partial taxation. Other states may partially tax Social Security benefits or offer deductions and exemptions that reduce the tax burden. For example, Minnesota allows a subtraction for a portion of the Social Security income that is subject to federal tax, but it still taxes a portion of these benefits. Conclusion Understanding which states do not tax Social Security benefits is crucial for retirees and those planning their retirement. It can significantly impact their financial planning and where they choose to live. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.